All right, hello, welcome back everybody. PayPal and Patreon are down below. If you want to support me, only do so if you actually can. So this is gonna be kind of another slideshow time-lapse video, this time starting from the very beginning and showing the ascent and the changes in the group of largest oil producers over time. You can see as oil demand was very low at the time, the only two oil producers from the 1890s up until 1911 were the USA and the Russian Empire, and the USA constantly keeps pulling up ahead of everybody else, as, as most of the exploration at the time was focused in the USA, because most of the demand was in the USA, and also the Russian Empire had various other concerns going on, like the Russo-Japanese War, their first almost revolution, and then World War I. And you can see now as the Soviet Union, their production starts to pick up a bit afterwards, and also new players start emerging. As after World War I, as everyone had realized how critical oil was going to be going forward, and as their attention was not occupied by World War I, Everybody was able to start exploration efforts in different places, but the U.S. is still pulling way far and ahead, and that is predominantly because that's where most of everything had been found, so that's where most of the companies focused their efforts because they knew it would be easy to find more, and because the USA's oil demand was uh, leagues beyond anybody else's. And then comes World War II, where you see the Soviet oil production halt, and sometimes falter a bit. You see, you see issues with Romania, you see off and on issues with Indonesia, some people occasionally crash to zero, and then after World War II, and as we really enter the modern petroleum or liquid fuel age, and plastics and petrochemical age, the demand for oil at this point really begins to skyrocket as everybody's economies rebound and rise rapidly, so this is where a bigger variety starts to come in, most of them being well-known OPEC nations, especially around the Persian Gulf, along with North Africa. Get to the first U.S. peak around 10 in, I think, 1970, and from there they begin to slip back a bit. And as you keep going forward, Saudi Arabia eventually rises up briefly to where their current levels usually are. You see Iran's production contract back precipitously after the revolution, and as the Iran-Iraq war goes on. Then as you come up to the 90s, we reach obvious events like the Soviet Union collapses, and thus that oil production contracts down to just Russia's. The USA has declined down to close to five or six. New players start coming onto the stage soon, such as Brazil and Canada. Norway and the UK even pop up there a few times. Mexico comes back after being gone for a while. You go forward and forward, and people like Brazil and Canada keep climbing. A lot of the Middle Eastern countries either fluctuate or stay roughly the same. You hit the start of the shale drive, and the US begins to climb upwards and upwards again. Russia recovers upwards and upwards after the 90s are over. The U.S. gets up to 13 for the first time, and Russia up to 11. Then COVID happens, the demand crash causes everyone to contract in production briefly. Everyone comes back, Russia gets back up close to 11 again, and then invades Ukraine and starts their downward spiral since then, with the U.S. getting up to about 13 and a half, which is just below or around their peak. And we freeze there, that's where things are at currently. So thank you everybody for sticking around and watching or listening. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you want to see more stuff. Mm -hmm. On Patreon or down there if you want to support me, only do so if you actually can. There's a link in the description to a Google Drive where you can find these graphs soon and all kinds of other graphs about all kinds of different topics and subjects. There's a link to my catch channel pinned in the top pinned comment. May God bless and protect all of you, and I will see you all around next time.